Hello everybody, I just wanted to uh, show a quick video on how to reset or how to change the default voice input if you're using a Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 uh, Plus. If you notice that if you go into a, a certain app, for example, and uh, you want to uh, do your voice input, it comes up with the Samsung input. And if you notice, that's pretty inaccurate. And there's plenty of times I speak and it just doesn't get it. And I'm not going to really say anything to prove it. Uh, if you are one of those people that have the device, you know what I'm talking about. Looks kind of like that, right? So you go in there, you start speaking, and it doesn't give you what you want like Google does. Um, and we all know that there is a Google input in the background somewhere. So this is what you have to do to set that up to where you can use your Google input versus the Samsung input. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead and go into uh, your settings. So go ahead and pull down, go into settings, and settings, and then you want to go over to your apps. And once that loads up, you're going to go ahead and hit the three dots on the upper right hand corner, and you want to show your system apps. So it's going to put in all the the uh, internal apps like Samsung, and that's what you're going to specifically look for. So in this case, you're going to scroll all the way down to you get to the S's, and you're going to specifically look for Samsung uh, input. So we find out exact voice Samsung voice input. Okay, so I haven't messed with the Bixby. Because that little icon above the, the first Samsung voice input looks like it goes for the Bixby app, which I don't really use anyway. But I do want to mess with the Samsung voice input, the second one. And what you do is you hit disable on that. Just disable. And then you just go back. And then uh, we can go back in. You want to type your stuff. And voila. It's not going to show it, unfortunately, but as you can see, it's Google again, it's not Samsung, and it is accurate, and I love it. So um, that's how you do it, and if you have any comments or anything, just uh, go ahead and leave any comments below. But by disabling the Samsung voice input, it defaults back to the Google, and it's much more accurate, and it just works. So there you go. Hope you have a good day, and thanks for watching. Bye.